All right, guys, in this video, uh, we're going over uh, installing this Hughes dump valve into our power glide here. It's a BT power glide, but uh, it works with uh, any power glide. All right, so this is the pump, and uh, reading the instructions, this is your converter feed orifice. Um, and it says to drill it out to a 0.257 inch uh, hole, 3 eighths of an inch deep, so that you can tap it out to this uh, 5 sixteenths, 18 thread to install this uh, restrictor. Now it's just a brass set screw. You screw in there and then you drill uh, the middle of it out to 125 thousandths and that restricts the oil to the converter to optimize this uh, dump valve setup. You don't have to do this, but it's recommended on LS engines and uh, any other engine that has a, a weaker thrust bearing, it helps with that also, and it helps maximize your RPM gain with the dump. So well, that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and drill this out for that. So I'm gonna drill it 3 eighths of an inch deep Try to keep it straight. So. This is soft material too, guys, so be careful with it. The bit tries to dive in. That's how it's doing. That's probably three eighths of an inch. <clears throat> and now, let me just double check that. So it went about right there. Oh, yeah, that's three eighths of an inch all day long. And all you got to do, you just got to get it deep enough so that this sits below flush so that you, when you bolt your pump halves back together, it doesn't interfere and cause a gap there. So now we're going to tap it out with this uh, 5 16 tap. Get my tap handle here. I try to be prepared so that y'all don't have to watch me finding tools. So there's my tap handle and uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap this out. Like I said, these pumps, these pump bodies are pretty soft. They're like a cast, some kind of cast metal. So pretty easy to tap. It's just cutting right in it. But take your time, you know. And uh, I'm gonna tap it, tap it down in there. And that's probably deep enough. Work my tap back out. Now this is the uh, second time I've installed this kit. I'm reusing it, so. Um, I had to pull the other transmission apart to get this. So now I'm gonna clean it up good. Now the instructions say to use a uh, dab of red Loctite on this brass set screw. Just a dab. You don't want it poured on there, you know, and it flaking off in your transmission. So you just want it like, you know, around the threads there. And uh, now we're just gonna run it in there. Uh, below flush it says to run it in there until you bottom it out to the threads you made so that's what we're going to do run this thing down in there okay it got tight right there so i'm just going to give it just one little snug just to make sure there see how it's uh it's below flush that's what you want we're gonna put this together. 
line up our dowel there. Now if you don't have a dowel, like my other transmission, my other pump didn't have one, you take a big uh, hose clamp. I had two hose clamps together. They make a tool for it, I think it's pretty much a hose clamp. And you just clamp this together with, with all your bolts in it and then you uh, tighten them down and it uh, keeps everything lined up right. So this one has that, so it's pretty much dialed. All I gotta do is put the bolts back in it and tighten them up. And uh, I keep up with all my stuff. I try to stay organized as I'm doing this because it makes like reassembling this thing so much easier. And I think I gotta go from this side. So I'll just get them all started. All right, so that step's done. We got our pump done. I'm gonna peel this gasket off and replace it. See, it's junk. See how it's got that inside rolled edge right here? And this side's sharp. I wanna put that rolled edge up against my pump, like that. And that'll keep it from wearing into the pump body. I'm actually gonna lay it down right here first. Mess my gasket up. There we go. And now we can line it back up and drop it in. Just like that. All right, we got a couple started. And what I'm gonna do now is just bump this down with a uh, the butt of a hammer. So, it, cause it's sticking a little bit. I think that it's got a seal on it. Just get all our bolts started. Now, what I was uh, talking about earlier is you want to take this thing and spin it. Take the grab the tail shaft and you can twist it. Make sure it ain't tough. You know, this this spinning over you know one hand pretty easy. Make sure that's working good. So, you know, if it's bound up tight to stop and you got something not lined up. But so far everything looks good. I can even turn this by hand. So that's a good good sign. All right, we'll go ahead and torque this back down. This is uh, 15 to 18 foot pounds in a star pattern. So I'm just gonna evenly work these down. Take a second, spin it, yep. Make sure it's good. So, go ahead and torque it. So, there's 18, 18. All right, now I'm just gonna double check them. All right, y'all, we got our valve body on the bench here, and we gotta make a modification to it. Um, we need to drill this and tap it to 1 8 inch NPT for our dump valve. And uh, so first, I gotta disassemble it. Okay, so I got this fitting in here, and it gets tight about right there. And in the picture, in the description, it says to have it where it tightens up about right this way so i've got to go three quarters of a turn so what i'm going to do is go ahead and tap that just a little bit deeper to be able to get that without over tightening it and cracking the valve body and it says use a uh, liquid teflon sealant they don't want you using tape So 
So about right there. Just a little more. And just take your time with this. I'd rather take my time with it and do it once and hurry up and do it twice and lose a bunch of money. So let's see how that fits. Clean it up again. pretty tight but I think that's gonna be good yep okay we got that tapped out and uh, the next step it says to put your valve body back together so I don't have the gasket for this yet but for the sake of the video I'm going to just loosely reassemble this I'll come back and put a new gasket in it but so you need the valve body in there for the next step. Move it over a little bit. Get your shift lever lined up in, the, in that groove before you put any bolts in it. Get everything, your tube in, and there we go. You got your rooster comb lined up there and uh, valve lined up. You got a, this piece here that goes on there like that kind of helps line everything up too like I said I'm gonna I gotta pull it back apart so um, this is just for the dump valve install let's see this goes right there so gotta tighten that up first Then you put this on. Maybe you could, you could probably put this on first, but it's gonna get it rocked around there where it goes. All right, the instructions say get this installed with the uh, 60 degree fit in here and 45 down there. And then what we're gonna do is mark about where we need this uh, bulkhead fitting to, to go through so about right there is where we need to drill maybe a little more this way so you just mark it right there and then what I do I'll look under it make sure everything's clear underneath it it's a good habit and I'm gonna drill a pilot hole first cases they're pretty stout um, I'm gonna take a vacuum and vacuum those out now this probably would have been better to do without you know, before I put the transmission together, but I didn't think about it. Okay, now we're going to go to a 9 16 Okay, now we're going to take this uh, bulkhead fitting. This says to install it like with this part coming through the case. So we're going to Run it through there, put our nylon washers on each side of it, and our nut here. Tighten it down. All 
All right, so once we get that, you know, tightened down, we'll be able to put this tube here. Okay. Get in there where... <clears throat> tighten that up. All right, guys, I just want to elaborate on this real quick. This right here, when you're tapping it into this valve body, make sure you use a uh, brand new tap, a good sharp tap. Um, and it's better if it's made in the USA, in my opinion. Um, so when you're tapping it, you want to just be real careful. I actually cracked one of these when I first installed this kit in my other transmission because I was using a dual tap. And just the slightest pressure right here in this thin wall of this casting will crack it. Just want to elaborate on that. This valve body's five hundred dollars, and I, you know, don't want to spend five hundred dollars because I wanted to get in a hurry. So once you get all this installed, um, next step is to modify the pan with this. Uh, you just drill and tap it. You can see I've, I've already done it. This pan, this come off my other transmission. And I'm just going to reuse this pan instead of drilling out another one. So pretty much you install it. And I'm going to throw a couple of bolts in it. Just to hold it. And I'm gonna go back. I gotta put a gasket on my valve body, so all this is kind of temporary, but it kind of gets you uh, an idea of the difficulty of this kit. And to be honest, it's not that difficult. Drilling the valve body is the worst part. So once you get that fit and installed, we're gonna install the valve itself now. And it's all still plumbed up from where I pulled it off the other transmission. But if it wasn't, you know, these, it's very detailed which hose goes where. So this, this actually bolts under here like this. Let's see, like that. And you got to pull off a couple of your tail housing bolts there. So. Put that hose there. Like that and then it kind of kinks up right there like that and then oops, drop your bolt <laughs> you put your bolts back in if I can get my hand in there But this right here goes to that bulkhead fit you just put in. Just like that. And uh, that's it, guys. That's your dump valve. You just wire it up, you know, hot ground through a switch or however you want to do it. Mine is kind of facing backwards. There, You can adjust it. There's several you know a couple different ways that you can orient this and with my nova transmission tunnel like in the instructions it shows it straight up like this but you're actually capable of rolling it back and i had to do that to clear my tunnel so that's just another thing i, I wanted to go over it's pretty uh, versatile 